Okay, welcome to another training. In this training, we're going to learn about the MTM router. It's also referred to as high net flares. Okay, it's an MTM router. And um, okay, it can contain up to 20 users or even more. And um, you can also use LAN for it. Now, you can charge, allow for charging. To charge this, you connect it this way. When you connect it and you plug the head, to a power unit and then watch it. It's a sign that it's a battery sign that is charging. Okay, the battery shows when this battery light is on, it means it's charging. Okay. It's really charging so if you don't see this light your device is not charging I pull out the light okay the battery is there it's not charging that battery indicator light is off when you put back this the battery indicator light is on so it's charging okay now you have to on it, you can turn it on, it's on, this is the power light, the charging light must be, it should be off, so let's make sure it's connected, the power light is connected. Okay, let me check. Okay, good. So the power light is on. This is the battery light. This is the signal strength. The power light. This is also to determine the whether it's 3G or 4G. So it's both 3G and 4G. And this is the battery light, battery light indicator. This is the signal strength, it's full. Okay, where the connectivity is low, it can be like three or four, or even one. When the signal strength is low in a location, when the signal strength is low, it can be this one. And then now the signal strength is high. Now this is, a, phone indicator okay there's network okay this is Wi-Fi that means um, you can get connection through this router maybe the system is connected to it this is a phone indicator fine now this device comes with a SIM card I remove the SIM, just press it in, see the SIM card, you put in the SIM and just press it, it's in, without the SIM card it does not work, it has the SIM card, it's an MTN router and um, it has, must come with MTM SIM card. If you put another network SIM card into it, it will not work. It's MTN, it must be MTN. And then the MTN has a number, the SIM card has a number indicated at the back of the router, MTN router or high flares. So this is the number 
and you know you can load this um, router using this number by dialing the appropriate ussd code with this number you'll be able to load data into this um, into this router another way to load you can use the mtn app to load data into this router okay um for this router this device the default password is admin okay to log on to this router you can log on to this router to configure it by typing 192.168.0.1 on either your phone or your laptop or any network device okay with that you connect to this and you can configure it remember the default password is admin you get it i saw it's always good when you have this to quickly change the password so that nobody will see it that know the device um, password and just login the device password is different from the wi-fi wi-fi password and in other trainings you learn more about the configuration hope you enjoyed the training thank you for watching